We went from a cutting package, building, welding, even more parts, finalizing stuff, grinding, more welding, putting it on a trailer, putting in an outboard, to the point we're actually ready to put it in the water, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's go. Slowly bringing it down. The boat trailer was actually not super fitting, so as a time of recording, I'm still trying to get the trailer really fitting nicely to do the boat ramp more uh, like easily. And uh, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, dropping it in. Now, you need to understand that I like drawing for like two years, uh, a half a year of building, right? And obviously there were some like minor calculations to uh, see how it is going to float. But actually this is a big surprise. So I just put in a battery and a fuel tank. Um, and for the rest it's completely empty, completely hull. So it's super light as it is. But yeah, this is just uh, like people were saying, oh, you're going to excited. You're going to go with the boat tomorrow. A lot of people were asking if they could be there. There's only a few people here. I don't want it to have too big of an audience because family and friends and everybody knew like what, what I was going to do today. So yeah, here you can see that uh, when I step inside, you see that window. That's actually a little bit of the, of the goal, right? The easy access to the front deck. So there we go. The special moment to put it in. And I am absolutely thrilled at this moment how very nicely it floats. So on the back, the spray rail is just touching the water. You can see here. And this is absolutely the, the most desired outcome that a man can wish. So there's still a light half of width with the building. So here we go. Here it is. I'm looking at like, yeah, let's go. I'm like looking at it really happy. Like, Wah. there's the first time firing up the engine. So here we go. This is the absolutely the first time ever. And uh, also the engine is like brand new. Yeah, it's firing up for the first time. So I cannot immediately like I really want to plane immediately, but I just cannot do that at the moment. So very gently. And if you can see the area here, this is the waters that we have a lot. So in these waters, absolutely not allowed to plane or to go fast, but you need to sail slowly and in this next coming video you will see how absolutely automatically it starts uh, floating so how it's sailing Now this is it. This is like 12, 1300 RPM. And look at how fast it's actually moving by. There's no like current here or whatever. Look at this beauty. Again, a little bit more other footage from uh, somebody else who recorded this. This was like a little bit faster, like, I don't know, like 1300 RPM, 1400 RPM. A little bit low quality, but whatever. And if you like this kind of content, could you please hit that like button? That really helps me out. And if you want to see more details about this boat, subscribe to the channel. Or if you want to know even more details, I put a Patreon page there uh, here in this description as well. And there I talk about the measurements, how what the cost is, how much hours and all of those details and more to come. Let's move on with the video. Some more footage on how that beauty goes through the water
So there we are, first time planing. So there we go. Now you don't have to put any power down to get it to plane, really. And it maneuvers pretty nice because the, f the front is catching the water real nicely and the back end is actually very loose. So as soon as you steer, you can st like steer the boat very easily. You can see like doing a U-turn here. Here we actually like we still need to like run in that engine. Oh, it has this like maintenance hours, 20 hours. But here we are actually planing quite fast. Like it would be like 20 knots or something. 25 knots. Here we go full throttle. Sorry for the footage, a little bit. Now here's some other footage where I kind of because I don't I'm going to record a lot of more footage from the side, but here we're actually accelerating gently. Ah, it's just planing so easily. Now as you can see here, if you just sit down and you just relax, you can have like this view, yeah? So you can have a great look on where you're gonna go and uh, RPM meter, frame meter. This area needs to be redesigned. I think this can be done way more beautiful, but I just didn't know the steering mechanism i didn't know where the gauges would be what would make sense you know you, you at some point you just need to build and see okay this was not the right decision and then from that uh yeah you can you can build further right after the test run which didn't take super long we did just a few trips um i started ordering pillows uh this floor here and as of at the moment, after the pillows, I kind of run out of money. I mean, I invested so much into this and always, obviously there were like costs that I didn't uh, account for. So I just put in some like rubber material on the floors. And here are people uh, uh, like measuring in the pillows for uh, this area. And you can see here that I put uh, rubber here on the stairs. Uh, here's going to be like a, uh, like a, yeah, how do you call it? Like a piping for the water skiing and all that stuff now in the next video i will make sh like more kind of these footage how it goes full throttle how it's operating in different waters but i still need to do a whole lot of recording like that so uh, and obviously you can see we're like a few stages further here we put in pillows put in floors and all these details but i will also show that in future videos um so yeah, and that will be finished up right here when it's finished. Thanks for watching.